If your squash plants are not setting fruit, you may have to take matters into your own hands and pollinate them yourself. Hi, this is Rich and today at the Rugged Homestead, I'm going to help my spaghetti squash vines set their fruit by pollinating the plants by hand. Normally pollinators like honeybees do the dirty work, flitting from flower to flower and distributing the pollen across the plants. But I've noticed a distinct absence of bees in my garden this year, and it seems I have more plants than usual not setting fruit. So where mother nature fails to do the job, man has to step in. Let's go take a look. I have a summer squash plant, a spaghetti squash plant that's growing here. And I've got it growing up a vine. I've noticed that my fruit hasn't been developing. That it would flower, have that little fruit there, but not form into an actual spaghetti squash. And what's happening is that when the flower forms on the end of the fruit there, it's not getting pollinated by the male flowers. There's two kinds of flowers on the spaghetti squash. This is the male flower here, and they grow up on long stems like this. The female flower forms on the end of the fruit, and the pollen from here has to go onto the stamens of the fruit here. And when it doesn't happen, the plant dies, or the fruit uh, shrivels up and dies. It's not a problem with the plant, just that you're not going to get fruit. So you've got another one over here as well, didn't form. So what I'm doing is doing some artificial insemination. So up here, I have a fruit that's formed and it's got the flower on the end of it. So this is a female flower on the spaghetti squash. So what I'm going to do is take a regular Q-tip and I'm going to come down here to the male flower and I'm going to just rub it along here. And as you can see, it gets the pollen all over the tip. Now I'll come up to the female flower and you can see the stamens in there. And I'll just rub that onto the flower to pollinate it to make sure that the, the fruit will grow. And I've got another one up top here, so I'll do the same thing. Come back down to the male flower. I've got pollen. Come up here and Now I did one here the other day, this one, and it looks like it's uh, taken and as you can see the fruit is starting to develop. So I'll keep my eyes open and actually across the garden there you can see I've got a, uh, a butternut squash that's actually developing and I'm going to go uh, pollinate that one now. So basically doing the exact same thing. Try and reach in here without all the leaves in the way. Please. Can you even see? There we go. Get the pollen on the Q-tip. It's the same process. You take the pollen, put it in. and then you're done. It's as simple as that. By giving Mother Nature a helping hand, you can make sure you have a high percentage of fruit that sets. Let me know in the comments section below your own success with hand pollination and what, if any, other plants you've used this technique on. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe, and then you get an email when a new video is uploaded. And if you know someone that might be helped by what you've seen, consider sharing this video with them. So tune in next time as we continue to share ideas and tips on how we're turning our home into a homestead and moving toward a life of self-reliant living. Thanks for watching.
what's happening is is that when the flower and what's happening is that when the flower come back down to the male flower jeez I've noticed a distinct absence of bees in my garden this year that seems to have more fruit than usual that's not setting. But I've noticed a distinct absence of bees in my garden this year. And it seems I have more fruit than normal that's not setting fruit. Yeah, that's the problem.